Sahih Muslim Arabic, Shai Melm Sahih Muslim, full title, Al Musnadu al Sahihu by Naklil Adli is one of the Qutb al Sitta six major hadith collections in Sunni Islam. It is highly acclaimed by Sunni Muslims as well as Zaydi Shia Muslims. It is considered the second most authentic hadith collection after Sahih al Bukhari. It was collected by Muslim ibn al Hajjaj, also known as Imam Muslim. Its authenticity has sometimes been questioned due to the fact that it was written over 250 years after the Islamic prophet, Muhammad. Regardless of this, Sunni Muslims believe it to be genuine and authentic. Sahih Muslim, together with Sahih al-Bukhari is termed as Sahihain. Topic. Collection The collector of the Sahih Muslim, Muslim ibn al Hajjaj, was born into a Persian family in 204 A in Nishapur and died in 261 A in the city of his birth. He travelled widely to gather his collection of ahadith, plural of hadith, including to areas now in Iraq, the Arabian Peninsula, Syria, and Egypt. Out of 300,000 hadith which he evaluated, approximately 4,000 were extracted for inclusion into his collection based on stringent acceptance criteria. Each report in his collection was checked and the veracity of the chain of reporters was painstakingly established. Sunni Muslims consider it the second most authentic hadith collection, after Sahih al-Bukhari. Sahih Muslim is divided into 43 books, containing a total of 9,200 narrations. However, it is important to realize that Muslim Ibn al-Hajjaj never claimed to collect all authentic traditions as his goal was to collect only traditions that all Muslims should agree on about accuracy. According to Munthari, there are a total of 2,200 hadiths without repetition in Sahih Muslim. According to Muhammad Amin, there are 1,400 authentic hadiths that are reported in other books, mainly the six major hadith collections. Views Many Muslims regard this collection as the second most authentic of the six major hadith collections, containing only Sahih hadith, an honor it shares only with Sahih al-Bukhari, both being referred to as the two Sahihs. Shia Muslims and some Sunnis dismiss some of its contents as fabrications or untrustworthy due to the questionable reliability of some narrators, despite the book's high stature, and the consensus of scholars on that it is the second most valid categorized book of hadith. After Sahih al Bukhari, it is agreed upon that this does not mean that every element in it is true, in comparison to other hadith books, but means that the book as a whole is valid. Such is the preference of Sahih al-Bukhari to Sahih Muslim, which does not mean that every hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari is more valid than every hadith in Sahih Muslim, but that the total of what is contained Sahih al-Bukhari is more valid than the total of what is contained in Sahih Muslim, and likewise, the validity of a certain hadith form the two books of hadith, over hadith from other Sahih books, cannot be inferred except after the correctness of that particular hadith is shown. Topic. Distinctive features. Amin Asan Islahi, the noted Islamic scholar, has summarized some unique features of Sahih Muslim. Muslim Ibn al-Hajjaj recorded only such narratives as were reported by two reliable successors from two Sahaba companions of Muhammad which subsequently traveled through two independent unbroken isnads consisting of sound narrators. Muhammad al-Bukhari has not followed such a strict criterion. Scientific arrangement of themes and chapters. The author, for example, selects a proper place for the narrative and, next to it, puts all its versions. Muhammad al-Bukhari has not followed this method he scatters different versions of a narrative and the related material in different chapters. Consequently, in the exercise of understanding a hadith, Sahih of Muslim ibn al-Hajjaj offers the best material to the students. Muslim ibn al-Hajjaj informs us whose wordings among the narrators he has used. For example, he says, Hadithana Fulan wa Fulan Walifs Lifulan A and B has narrated this hadith to us and the wording used here is by A. Similarly he mentions whether, in a particular hadith, the narrators have differed over the wordings even over a single letter of zero semantic significance. He also informs the readers if narrators have differed over a specific quality, surname, relation or any other fact about a narrator in the chain. Commentaries and translations 
Sayana Sahih Muslim by Ibn al Salah, of which only the beginning segment remains. Al Minaj b Shar Sahih Muslim by Al Nawawi. Fath al Mulham by Shabir Ahmad Usmani. Takmalat Fath al Mulham by Muhammad Taqi Usmani. Summarized Sahih Muslim by Abd al Hamid Siddiqui. The text is used in the USCMSA Compendium of Muslim Texts. Shar Sahih Muslim by Allama Ghulam Rasul Saidi. Tafsir al Garab ma fi al Sahihain by al Humaydi. Translations of commentaries of Sahih Muslims are available in numerous languages, including English, Urdu, Bangla, Tamil, and Bosnian. See also Kutub al Siddha, Sahih al Bukhari, Jami al Tirmidhi, Sunan al Sugra Either, Sunan ibn Majah, Mawada Malik Topic. References Topic. Further reading and videos http sunnacom muslim https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch question mark v equals 66 a 9 x o q o life of imam muslim by nevade aziz https colon slash slash www.youtube.com watch v equals psmx mp3 gsjy english translation with arabic text english translation English translation with Arabic text PDF books English translation of the introduction to Sahih Muslim English translation with Arabic text English translation from Center for Muslim Jewish Engagement <laughs>